Now it says, come before him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this song is a true song of praise. Now, tell us about this song. Well, the song, oh my God, was written by a young lady who lives in Chicago. Her name is Armiris Palmore. And God has blessed me with so many excellent writers that fill my heart. And I, mm, when I heard the song, I felt that it was something that not only I needed to do, but ex let my audience experience it. Because a lot of times we don't get a chance to really let go and worship. When we're going to a church, we let the choir worship. We let the pastor worship. We let everybody else that gets their shout in worship. And when we go to a concert, we let the person that's singing or the person that's playing do the worship. This is a song that bids everybody, hey, let us all worship Christ, for he's our Savior. Yeah. And girl, you know that head of yours was gone. <laughs> the braids start going. We have this thing, when Yolanda's braids start moving, that's it. She's when gone. Start moving. So is, is it difficult for you when you are, or do you lose yourself? I don't almost know the answer to this. When you're doing this music, how much of you is in the music? Or does, or does the music take over? The Spirit of the Lord takes over. Excellent. That's exactly what takes over. I mean, uh, uh, basically, I'm a very shy, quiet person. Hello. I have some <laughs> I, mean, I have some friends who may take issue with that, but basically, I I'm really am. I'm one of them. I, I really, I am sort of pretty, pretty quiet. And sometimes uh, when I see performances like videos or something like that, I'm like, is that me? I mean, because I don't remember. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because when you begin to minister, That's the right. Lord just begins to take over your entire being. That's right. And my whole focus is 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 being a blessing to somebody. And am I pleasing God? And am I pleasing God? Exactly. Do you ask yourself that as oh, you're yeah. going oh, yeah. into your performance? Oh, yeah. Before oh, yeah. the performance? And after, after. Praying, during, during, after. during the performance? And yeah. definitely after. Yeah. Did I say the right thing? Right. Did I minister exactly. the, to the needs of the people? Exactly. Because what people don't understand is, in our business, we have to look at it as God control. Exactly. We can't look at it as though it has anything to do with us. Mm -hmm. Although we know that we're the vessels, mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with us Not personally. Because he could have chosen anybody else. As a vessel. Exactly. As a vessel. Yeah. And, I, and I think it's so important uh, in this day and age um, that singers or quote gospel artists mm -hmm. uh realize what this whole this whole thing is about right. there's so many people out there who are hurting yes they're dying physically they're dying spiritually mm -hmm. it's time out for entertainment right it's time right. out for show business yes it's time do you to think let we have too much know. of that i think we do i in think we do. Cases, and in definitely. some cases and i'm you know, I, I'm not here to judge anyone. Right. I, I, I praise God for, for everyone's ministry or, or, or their gift. But I think we need to be more focused. That's why I love Yolanda. So because every time I see her or experience what she does, I feel the power of, of the Lord. I really, really do. And I, and I mean that. I mean that from my heart. And, I, and that's so important. I think we, we, we don't realize the people that, that come up to you and who are going through so many And you never know changes. what you they're going know. through. I had a young through. lady uh, uh, come up to me and said that she had contemplated suicide. And she said after hearing uh, the service on that day, she knew that God had something to do with her life. And suicide was not even an option for mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. At first, it That's frightened right. me because it, it a showed lot of responsibility. me the awesome responsibility right. that we have right. as ministers to That's really right. make a difference in people's lives. It's not about entertainment. Mm -hmm. It's about being a blessing Definitely. and being that, that conductor and that vessel for the Lord. And mm -hmm. I've known Richard for a long time, and it's not to reciprocate what he said. Richard has been a role model for me for a long, long time. He used to come to Houston, he yeah. and his group, and we would all laugh and talk and joke. But what I saw in Richard's ministry, and I see a lot in his life, it's constant. The same. It never changes. Mm -hmm. His focus is always God. His ministry is always God sent. His words are always deep so you can think about what you're doing, contemplate. Like the young lady said, right. after the service, she knew right then and there. God spoke to her right. in the service. Exactly. But when you're giving yourself, you don't realize mm -hmm. what God is saying in the midst of what you're doing. All you're doing is praying that you're a blessing to somebody. Right. And the song that I think that you sing, and it was so hard to decide what you should sing, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we were talking about it, and that is the one oh, where you sing that whole thing in my arms. In the shelter. In the, the shelter, shelter of the Lord. Where did that come from? 
I tell you what, um, that comes out of a very special place in my life. Um, about two years ago, I was here in Washington, D.C., and um, was helping a friend move into a new home. And me and my best buddy were in the car. We had driven up to this house, and uh, we were waiting for the moving van to get there. We got out, sat in the car and talked a while, got out of the car and started sending the steps, and we heard what I thought was a firecracker, but it was gunfire. Little did I know that I was in the midst of a drive-by Hold that, hold that. We'll talk about the cliffhanger. Okay. We'll take a break. And we'll finish right after this. <laughs> 